Hello everyone, Fundaplus here, back with another review video. Today we are reviewing the FNAF Security Breach Plushies. These retail for 10 bucks a piece, plus tax. These released on, I think these released yesterday, I mean, no, a week ago. You can buy them on Funko.com or any other sites, but it's just, I would, I would not recommend paying over above 20 because like these are still out in stores it's just like we're just hard to find at the moment so yeah let's get started all right to start off with roxanne um she has her um her legs and her arms are made of a candy cadet material and these are using a newer type of felty plushy material that's used for like chica's hair and stuff on the original two waves and the cupcakes embroidering and stuff like that. But she has white paws. She, ha she has um, her um. I, mean, I don't know what to call it, but like her top is printed, her stomach's printed, and her um. Her suit is printed, and her um, r bands are printed. Her neck band is printed. Printed. She doesn't have her lipstick, but it's fine, honestly, it still looks cute. Her eyelashes are actually on new plush, and I should probably get this out of the way first, but I'll be right back. It has trouble standing, and also the hair, it's super flat, honestly, it's so flat. But that's my only complaint, honestly, it's just too flat, but I understand it's plush and you can't really do much, unless you want to fork over lots of money. These were only 10 bucks, so I can see why. She has a green thing right here. Her green um, tassel or something like that. Her green stri stripe in her hair, yeah. She has her foxy ears. She's a wolf, not a fox, but like she's using the Rockstar foxy ears. The head mold's new. Body is like, I'd say it's about the same. She doesn't have her tail, but like other than that, it's pretty much good. Now for Glamrock Freddy, it's basically, it's a really simplified a version of Freddy. The sad thing is, he doesn't have his teeth. Like, he's supposed to have spiked teeth, not like the Freddy muzzle. I mean, he's supposed to have the Freddy muzzle, too. But, like, he's supposed to have a sharp teeth. He has his bow tie printed on, which is really dumb, on in my opinion. But, like, I can live past that. But, you know, the stripe is printed, too. I understand why. But, like, they could have just printed the stripe in the bow tie. You know, put it, like, put a bow tie on there. Like, glue it or something like that. You guys can tell, but he does have red on his legs. Not, it's not just orange. It's really, it's red too. You see it better in person or in the shadows. It's like two different. Sh this is like a reddish orange. This is an, like a lighter orange. His feet are yellow. He has his makeup and stuff printed on, and he does have mine. I don't know if this is like pers very person to person, but mine are embroidered for his um eyebrows but the bad thing is on mine my, my nose is twisted on his it's like it's angled to the side he has a top hat without his blue stripe just said honestly but it's okay nothing on the back besides all the legal information and yes these are all fun tick should probably get this out of the way too Okay, so we have a new, not really a new tag, but it's a new design for a tag. So we have Wayward Freddy. And it says Five Nights at Freddy's, like the older ones. Like the, like the horizontal ones, or vertical. And it says plush on the bottom, and a collectible plush. It's stuff, it's basically, basically made like your new plushy tags, basically, for Five Nights at Freddy's. And yeah, that's it for Freddy. Nothing much. So yeah, let's move on to the next one. Alright, next off we have his Glamrock Chicken, and if you couldn't tell by now, we're going to my least favorite to favorite. These plushies ain't that bad on us, honestly, in my opinion. So, uh, her feet are orange, obviously. She has her um, cheetah pattern and her um, ch cheetah and zebra pattern on her legs. She has her, she, her um, top, middle section, and bottom section is printed. She has green hands, which is new for Chica. I'm going to be doing a comparison video on these two. So, like, stay tuned for that. So, she does have her beak. 
that's not shaped like Toy Chica's from what, what I can see. Like Toy, Ch Toy Chica's is a little bit thicker. And like her head is a lot larger than this. Excuse the hair. This, these things attract hair like crazy. But that's my only complaint about it. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention. The material is a brand new material. It's not soft, but it doesn't feel bad either. I mean, it's not like a really bad... It's not like really rough. Like on here, it's really rough. But like on here, it's like a softer material. So her hair and bow tie. Her bow tie is in pink and it has a little, um, you know indentations right here for to make them to give them that shape her hair is in a new design it's in spikes it has free spikes like all chicas do same tag as all the others and yeah that's it for chica let's move on to vanny okay, for vanny here it's nothing much really i mean it's kind of some stuff but like she doesn't have her plaid that's my only complaint she doesn't have her plaid or her whiskers. That's my only complaint, but like, I'm not gonna go into complaining. These plushies are still really good. And I do recommend buying them if you're a FNAF fan. If you're not a FNAF fan, I don't recommend buying these. But like, she has her blue bow tie. Her, um, her gray is sewn on separately from her white. Instead of plaid, she has pink right here or like a velvet velvet pinkish color she has a yellow foot right here sorry about the hair that was on my FNAF blanket dog likes getting on my FNAF blanket a lot too she does have her embroidering right here for her upper half of her I'm sorry but there's so much hair on this her eyes are in red she has her eyelashes her her eyebrows please excuse the hair Okay, the only bad in the other bad thing is she doesn't have her indentations in years, but I don't think she has that in the, you know. Because she's not an animatronic. She's just wearing a suit. But it's in yellow. And this one's in white. And then, you know, pink in both, in both of these two. Other than that, it's basically nothing much. And mine does have trouble standing sometimes. That's why I use a Lego base plate sometimes for certain stuff. Or all the time. Let's move on to Montgomery. Alright, for Montgomery here. He's really awesome in my opinion. He's probably the best plushie out of all of these. But like, Vanny's the best character. So far. The only complaint is about Montgomery I have is. It did, it, he didn't finish. They didn't finish printing his, um, you know. I know you're not going to see it from the bottom. But you can partially see it like from this. When you're looking front at it. But yeah, but he does have his alligator scale patterns, and he has his belt with his chain on it. Not chain, but like latch. He has his spikes on it. Why is it? I mean, okay, okay. My only complaint is it's it's in the dark green instead of yellow. But I can see why. But these are supposed to be like silver or something like that, not green. I'm pretty sure. He has purple hands. He's basically the colors of an alligator, just brightened up a bit. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, he does have his fangs right here. This is, I know the head mode doesn't look that good because like, it's Fungo's first time sculpt, not sculpting, but like, making an alligator head from plush. So I can see why they went a little bit, you know, they took some, some, some design, um, features away. He has a snout. His eye, his eyeglasses, uh, his sunglasses, and his stripe are made of a candy cadet material and phantom foxy. His mohawk is one piece of felt, same with Chica's hair. Glamrock Chica's hair, I meant. And his tail is just a small piece of felt or fabric, just rolled up into a tail shape. He does have printing on the back. I really do love his tail, it's really cute. But other than that, that's basically it. So I'm going to wrap, get all these guys up here, and I'm going to move on to conclusion of this video. How would I rate these out of 10? I would say this one's a 6, this one's a 5, 7 or 8, 4, and a 
five or six. So I'd say Montgomery's the best, so yeah. I want to thank you all so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I'll, I'll see you guys next time, probably in a pop review or something like that, and yeah, bye.